I recently wrote an article for the technology issue of Vice uh, about the Anarchist Cookbook. And if you don't know what the Anarchist Cookbook is, it was written in 1971 by a 19-year-old named William Powell. It was sort of a response to the Vietnam War and uh, a type of field manual for civil unrest at the time. And it contains stuff like how to make TNT, how to kill people with your bare hands, firearms knowledge, and all sorts of fun stuff. A few years later, he actually became a born-again Christian and requested that the book be taken off the shelves and taken out of print. Unfortunately for him, he didn't have that luxury because he sold the original copyright to the publisher and today you can still buy the thing on Amazon. Somewhere around like the mid-1980s, things took kind of an interesting turn uh, with the heyday of bulletin board systems. Someone compiled this list of instructions on how to make like low-grade explosives um, and stuff like flaming tennis balls and just general malcontent shit. And somewhere along the line, they appropriated William Powell's original title, The Anarchist Cookbook, and people started calling it that, even though it had very little resemblance to the original. A lot of people know about the Anarchist Cookbook, but I don't know too many people that have actually tried the entries out for themselves, and they're rumored to be very dangerous and incomplete and incorrect, so I thought it would be a good idea to head out to a warehouse in Brooklyn and just blow some shit up and see if there's any merit to these recipes. <laughs> Pretty simple here. You just take strike anywhere matches. Just gonna be cutting the match heads off. Uh, I think we figured out that each tennis ball, you need about 3,000 match heads. And you wanna cut in maybe another quarter of an inch and get a split tennis ball. Let's uh, do some sandpaper. Drop your matches on there. Just in case, strike anywhere match filled tennis balls don't explode like we hope. We're gonna have a plan B and break, we're breaking apart some bottle rockets, getting the black powder out, and we're gonna make a combination of matches and black powder in one of the balls. We don't know how many parts powder compared to how many parts and matches we should be using. So we're just gonna fill up the entire fucking thing. Black powder. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna need to pack it with uh, a lot of the... Sandpaper? The sandpaper then. Maybe a little bit of cardboard. We just need like filler, essentially. This is gonna be test one of the flaming tennis ball. Okay, uh, we're gonna use the experimental version packed with black powder and match heads. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, this was kind of silly to begin with. Make blow darts out of these pipes and yarn and pencil erasers. Those were the directions and kind of suspected it wasn't really gonna do anything. Uh, so basically just take a pencil eraser, push it down to the end of the dart, which serves as a kind of stopper here. You wanna make sure you have, uh, I think these are called beaded needles uh, with a hole in them. Some yarn, which is gonna act as kind of like a feather kind of stupid and silly. Uh, I didn't really think it was gonna work that well, and it really doesn't. I don't know why anybody would really make one of these. You certainly couldn't defend yourself or hurt anybody with it. I think it's safe to say that this was definitely a failure, and the Anarchist Cookbook, whoever wrote it, just wasn't thinking. <laughs> Apparently, if you make a pound of this, it will fill up an entire city block with smoke. It's gonna be four part parts sugar, six parts potassium nitrate. It's pretty simple. 
got here in your hot plate. You can use your stove if you're a little daring, I guess. Um, very low heat. This is the first time where I felt like we were like really cooking up something that's like fucking foul. Oh wow. This is what the uh, saltpeter and sugar mixture turned into. We've got wicks and matches in it. We'll see what happens if it smells as bad as it does now when it starts smoking, then we're all in for a bad night. what the anarchist cookbook says it'll do is spark the matches also puncture the bottom of this can and send it down the road and we're not doing it outside because there's a school across the street because we think it's just gonna explode <coughs> dude Nick his fucking buddy oh, what the fuck was it they threw a keg into a campfire oh, man. Uh, sure one kid got decapitated no, what, like, what? no, for real, like, it was fucking, like, proper murder charges. They charged everybody. Everyone who was involved, it was, like, a fucking thing. People got really fucked up. Who was One this? dude, gone. Nick, he was here earlier. Wow. Shrapnel ain't a fucking joke. <laughs> that hurt so this is what we call the down the road rocket, or what the anarchist cookbook calls the down the road rocket. We've attached ours to a skateboard, it's a little modification, and we don't think it's going to work, but if it doesn't work, we're going to either put some napalm on the back, or figure out a way to do it. dissolving you'll end up with like a really nice little goo that you can you know spread on your baby sister or you know a car or somebody and burn forever and it doesn't go out so make sure you know whatever you're burning you don't want <laughs> and you're able to control it somehow either be a big open space or some kind of space blanket you can throw over it because I don't know what else to put it out yeah, but if we mash it down first, we flatten it. Flat. That. Yeah, look at that. There we go.